Hello YouTube students, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at the midpoint formula. I want to look at the problem, find the midpoint of line segment AB whose endpoints are negative 2, 3 and 4, 1. So we're looking at the Cartesian plane and we're looking at the point negative 2, 3. So we can plot this point negative 2, 3 and we can label it A. Next we can plot the point 4, 1 and we can label this point B. And now the goal is to find the midpoint of line segment AB. So next we can connect these two points to form line segment AB. And now the midpoint will fall somewhere in this region here. So it's always good to get, if you can, get a general sketch of what this should look like. So now to find the midpoint of line segment AB, we're going to use the midpoint formula. When we have two points, x1, y1, and x2, y2, the midpoint of, this, of these two points you could find using m equals x1 plus x2 divided by 2, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. In some sense, you're just taking an average of the x-coordinates and an average of the y-coordinates. So if we look at this example, we have A is the point negative 2, 3, and B is the point, I'll write it this way, we have B is the point 4, 1. So we can designate this to be our x1, y1, and point B could be our x2, y2. So now when we set up this equation we have m equals x1 plus x2 divided by 2 y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So now all we need to do is substitute. So we have that the midpoint of line segment AB is equal to x1 plus x2 well, let's look at the x-coordinates. We have negative 2 plus 4, just substituting in x1, which is negative 2, and x2, which is positive 4, divided by 2. And now for the y1, y2, we're looking at the respective y-coordinates of points A and B. So now we have 3 plus 1 divided by 2. So now when we simplify, we have at the midpoint of AB is equal to negative 2 plus 4 is a positive 2, so we have 2 divided by 2. 3 plus 1 divided by 2, so we have 4 divided by 2. So now the last step, we just simplify. And we have that the midpoint of line segment AB is 2 divided by 2, so we have 1, and 4 divided by 2 gives us 2. So the midpoint will be the point 1, 2. And if we look at the graph, because I free hand sketched this, I'm not going to be able to draw a perfect grid. But we can tell that this midpoint, or the, se uh, the point that separates line segment AB into two equal halves, falls around the point 1, 2. So it's no coincidence that my sketch fell somewhere in that region where it should have been. But this is going to be our final answer to this problem. Okay, well this is going to conclude this midpoint problem as well as this video. Thank you all for watching and I hope that it was helpful.